the dark side of living in the Netherlands. There is a wide variety of advantages that come along with relocating to the Netherlands. The Netherlands is a country that has a lot to offer everybody, whether they are searching for a higher standard of life, more work prospects or a location to live that is cheaper. Let's not sugarcoat things and have an honest conversation about some of the challenges you could face if you decide to relocate to the Netherlands. 1. It's an expensive country. The Netherlands is well known for having some of the highest tax rates in the world and almost everything is subject to taxation. The income tax is particularly high in contrast to those of other countries in Europe. You could also discover that the prices of electronic goods are higher in the Netherlands. Here's a pro tip shop on the German Amazon, and that the prices of some foods are also a little bit more. On the other hand, it is possible to acquire some excellent prices if you have learned how to shop and where to shop. The relationship between supply and demand is to blame for the typically high cost of rent throughout the whole of the United States. Jobs in general pay very well here, yet in the end it all comes down to how you look at it. 2. You have to learn a new language. Even though most Dutch people are aware of this fact, conversational English is not sufficient. You are going to need to educate yourself in Dutch since the majority of the labels, notices, goods and parcels are all in Dutch. You are going to have to utilize Google Translate wherever you go to public locations like the grocery or railway stations until you master the local language. It is well known that the service sector in the Netherlands is notorious for being less helpful and more difficult to navigate than in other nations. Even if someone has been downright impolite to us extremely seldom, the Dutch aren't exactly famed for their ability to provide good customer service. You are either going to have to wait an eternity to speak to the manager, you are going to be in a line of 25 people on the phone, or you are going to have to wait weeks for a response to an email. Not to mention the level of frustration that a good number of individuals experience whenever they are confronted with tasks such as receiving mail or shipments. 3. Accommodation Insane housing shortages are plaguing the Netherlands at the moment. As a result, it is essential to do apartment hunting in advance of relocating to this location for permanent residence. There are both furnished and unfurnished apartments available to choose. The furnished homes come with very huge rent prices. When you rent a property that isn't equipped, you may think you're getting a good deal, but in reality, you have to buy everything, even rugs and appliances that are necessary. In addition, property owners are reaping the benefits of the housing shortage by charging their renters unreasonable prices. Due to the unfortunate state of affairs in the housing market in the Netherlands, it is essential that you begin your search for a new place to call home at the earliest possible date. Bear in mind that there are no assurances that you will locate a location right away, yet you should not give up hope. If you want to live in Amsterdam or one of the other cities in the Randstad, you need to be extremely patient in your hunt for a new house, and you should prepare for a little bit of more wiggle space in your budget. 4. It's expensive to own a car. In the Netherlands, owning a vehicle is unquestionably an investment in your future. The cost of owning a car is high, including not just the initial purchase price, but also the costs of maintenance, repairs and insurance for the vehicle. This is primarily the Dutch government's approach of discouraging individuals from driving, but so far it hasn't been very effective in accomplishing that goal. Oh, and there are regulations in place to stop someone from just purchasing a vehicle in Germany or one of the other nations in the region, bringing it into the country and selling it for a profit. If you were considering purchasing a vehicle and wanted to reduce the amount of money you spent, you should keep this in mind. 5. Difficult to make friends it is not simple to penetrate a Dutch circle of acquaintances because Dutch people spend around half the year inside, curled up on their sofas in their cosy homes, and their lives are dominated by their agendas. You will understand this when you see how the Dutch spend their time. If you want to make friends in the Netherlands, the greatest time to do it is in the summer. The Dutch are known for their warm and welcoming nature. When people start walking about in flip-flops, when parks are crowded with throwaway grills, and when tepid white wine is served in plastic glasses, it's time to mix and mingle. It is important to have patience and perseverance if you want to make actual friends in the Netherlands. Friends who will call you and consider inviting you over to their homes. Although your initial interactions with Dutch people will always be pleasant and friendly, you will quickly discover that it takes time and effort to do so. It is not typical for Dutch people to establish a friendship on a casual conversation that took place in a park. 
It may take some time before a person from the Netherlands will accept you into his inner circle of good friends. 6. The weather From June to September, the Netherlands has mild temperatures. After that, there is a 50% chance of precipitation and a 100% chance of sub-zero temperatures. The weather has dropped to the point that you will want to stay indoors as much as possible. People in the Netherlands are used to the chilly weather. Some of them even ride while it's snowing. Because of the inconsistency of the seasons and the erratic nature of the weather, you spend the better part of the year inside. In addition, spending so much time alone indoors for such a long period of time may be depressing and tedious. 7. Taxes are high An individual worker in the Netherlands is subject to a tax rate of 36.1%, which is among the highest in the world. When compared to the other 38 nations that are members of the OECD, the Netherlands has the 22nd highest tax burden. The income tax and social security tax together make about 70% of the overall tax wedge. A tax rate of 29.1% is applied to married couples who have two children. In addition, the government offers benefits for children in order to make the lives of their parents a little bit easier. 8. The Dutch are very direct. The Dutch people are known for their forthrightness and the fact that they always follow the regulations. Because they contribute to order and maintain it, planning, organizing, rules and regulations are held in high respect. This ensures that buses and trains will arrive at their destinations on time and that there is no possibility of bribery, but it also results in a significant amount of bureaucracy. Not just in their professional lives, but also in their private relationships, the Dutch place a high value on timeliness and preparation. The Dutch are very attached to their agendas. A popular proverb in the Netherlands is, a meeting is a meeting. You are required to let the individual know if you are going to be five minutes behind for a meeting, regardless of how informal the encounter may be. It is not acceptable to just show up to someone's home unexpectedly, so don't even think about it. The Dutch are not known for their spontaneous nature. A little amount of forthrightness may really go a very long way while you're still getting used to living in a brand new place. Saying what you mean and then following through with what you say are both components of the Dutch way of life. On the other hand, please don't confuse this with impoliteness of any kind. People in the Netherlands are known for their willingness to help, candour and straightforwardness. When working on a project, asking for an opinion or seeking guidance, this straightforwardness is likely to come into play at some point. If you ask a Dutch person a question, they will not be afraid to give you an honest response, even if it is something that you would be tempted to spin in a more positive light. Being so forthright may save a lot of time and lead to improved organisation, as well as the certainty that you will always know where you stand. Moving into a new property and selecting the appropriate neighbourhood for it is not an easy decision to make. To be able to make an educated choice, it is critical to have the ability to recognise and discount any sort of hyperbole or embellishment that may be presented. The aforementioned disadvantages of living in the Netherlands are not intended to cast a negative light on the stunning location, rather they are presented as an objective method for assisting individuals in making an informed decision about whether or not to move there based on their particular real-life circumstances. Someone could be able to make enough money to cover their living needs in the Netherlands, but they might not be able to adjust to the chilly weather there. Others, on the other hand, may find the bustle with visitors on the street to be a little bit too taxing on their passion for tranquility and solitude. It is entirely up to the individual, and all we did was provide some suggestions to assist you in making the best decision possible. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and turn on the notification bell. This is Learning Canteen.